Sean from Face Down here, and we're with two of the members of I Wrestle the Bear Ones. And you are? Krista. And what do you do? I sing. I'm Ricky, and I play bass. <laughs> All right, I got a basic standard question that I'm sure you guys have heard millions and millions of times. What's the story behind your band name, I Wrestle the Bear Ones? It's a really long story, actually. Um, Gary Busey, the actor, actually had a TV show called I'm with Busey, and uh, Steve and I were at the time just laying in bed and we were drinking and he said I wrestled a bear once we both just spit beer like out and we're like wow like we ever have a band together one day we're gonna do that we're gonna name an I wrestled a bear once but we actually know Gary Busey now because of a friend his daughter and he called us like the beginning of this tour yeah he had a conference call yeah. with us and he told us the story just like in just the show just like in the show and then he said Wrestle the Bear Ones. Yep, and so then we yeah. all cheered. And yes. <laughs> now, I, I noticed that all your song titles are pretty crazy, intense names. Uh, how do you guys come up with your song titles? Pretty much we'll be sitting around doing dumb shit, and then somebody will say something funny or, or quote something from a movie or whatever. Or it'll be a really long drive and we just, like, you know, lost it. Yeah, like, lost or our somebody minds. will just say something and we'll be like, write that down that, that might be a song name <laughs> so the next time. yeah just all so. inside jokes it's really yeah. personal to us you know people are like what does it even mean just like doesn't have to mean anything to you. he's a mess <laughs> now did you guys expect uh, Taste Like Kevin Bacon to get so popular the way he did no um Steven recorded that song in the living room of our house in Shreveport and uh we never thought that you know it would ever do anything although you know the internet is a wonderful thing and we had a friend that said hey you know we'll make a music video and it was our second music video with him his name is David Anthony and uh I don't know it just started picking up and we're just like okay well let's go on tour and you know lay crap out of it <laughs> that's actually one of the clothes <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, 2010, you guys uh, partake in the band's Warped Tour. Was that your first Warped Tour and your biggest event that you guys played? Yes. But very hot. We all got... And it, was, it is lots of work, but it's also lots of work. But it was cool because, I mean, ever clear play in green jello. Yeah. That was the best thing ever. Now I'm friends with the band because of that. And I was just like, you guys are awesome. <laughs> You're dead. Now, why did you guys decide, uh, as a band, to relocate from Louisiana to Alabama? Um, um, we kind of just uh, found a really nice house, and we were sick of living in Louisiana, and then we knew that we were going to be doing a good album at our house, so... Yeah, we kind of started making, like, a big pact with this band that every 6 to 12 months we locate to a new place, maybe, you know, just to, uh, all together, because we all live together. And, you know, hopes that one day we find somewhere we really like to live. Yeah, kind of like just throwing something, like, dice. And after like the album was done, we left immediately because of the album. So yes. So now we actually, we finished doing some vocals in Atlanta, came home, packed up our room in a day, moved yeah. out, all of our stuff to L.A., practiced for a week and went on tour. So, so it was a... So we <laughs> and it was, and, and those five days we were living there before the tour were all greater yeah. than the whole year. <laughs> and Birmingham. Yes. <laughs> now there was a song that you guys just recently played back in March called "I Want to Make Love to Chelsea's Grin." Is that off your oh. new album? And, and what's the story behind well, that? Well, um, actually, at the beginning of this tour, we didn't have song titles for any yeah, of our, yeah. our new. Well, we had titles, stuff. we just didn't. Place so, the so we knew we were going to be playing that song live, so we just like making up song names every night. But now it has a real song. Like, that song is actually first visible delicious. Yes. And uh, can you give us and your fans a little bit of insight on your new full length album that's to be uh, released on uh, Century Media Records this year? Darker, blacker, more corpse paint. <laughs> 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 or, uh, I don't know. It's like I'd say it's I'd say it's, it's more serious and more at the same time. 
like the exciting now your guys' music has been described as spastic blending of genres and is known for having melodic bounce out interludes in the middle of the songs. How would you guys describe your music as far as genre? I don't even know. Like, that's the hardest thing because there's so many bands that can be like, oh, I guess we're a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but we kind of just take anything and make our own in a way. But I mean, just like every great artist, you get you become inspired from another form of art and you make it your own. You know, so it's really I'm, yeah, it's it's, really, it's it's hard to answer that, but all I well, I, I mean, all I can people that don't know like what we sound like, it's like, well, we listen to a lot of different kinds of music. Yeah, and it's like you know, we try to play since inspiration. <laughs> inspiration, lots of inspiration. Now, do you guys have any appreciated rituals that you do? Drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> yeah, definitely a plus. Now, this is directed toward you. What is it like being a female singer in a predominantly male industry? Um, it's cool. Um, it, I mean, every guy I've ever been on tour with is a girl. There's a lot of girls now more in the band, which is a great thing. Um, they're coming out. They get ever since I guess like what probably like that whole like Seattle brunch thing you haven't really seen that many and now you're starting to see it more in the whole metal scene but I don't know it's everybody we've ever been on tour with they've always respected me for who I am and I mean everybody's cool um you always gonna be like we've never oh. we've never been on tour with anybody who treats you yeah they all treat me like a guy but not so, you know, like they're yeah. they're sweeter, you know. But I think if I start burping and farting around, no one is. Def- there's definitely been nobody that like thought they were better or treated, talked down. Yeah, if anything, I've had everybody on tours like just come up to me, even if they're just drunk, they'll be like, "I respect you, man." Oh, like, <laughs> we just have a loving moment. So it's weird. I have more guy friends than I do girlfriends because of that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, back in the back. <laughs> uh, who's your favorite band to go on tour with? I'm gonna say that like every tour, every band we've ever yeah. been with has made like a really good band. So like there hasn't been there's I can I can think of like one band our whole career or maybe two bands that were just like and but I was still friends with them, you know. Yeah. But best, best good friends are like Vienna, yeah. Horse. Everyone on this tour. Yeah, everyone on this tour. We became <laughs> great friends with. Yeah. Um, but just like Vinyl guys are so awesome, and everybody. I mean, we've all become. Everybody's weird at first, and you're like, oh, hey, and then when you see each other, you like want to like cry, just like run up to them, and give them a hug. Oh, we could. The thing is, we would just sit here. Like I've tried to think of it before, like who, like because we'd be like putting together a headliner, and people would be like, well, who can you think of that you would want on a tour? And I would go through the list of like everyone we've ever been on tour with, and I'm just like, because you're living the same life every day, and, you know, doing the same things over and over again, so they all understand it. We're all like starting to get a little loopy towards the end. <laughs> <laughs> No sleep, nine hour drives. Who's and in? last but not least, uh, what what can your fans expect? Any more tours, videos? Can you give us a little insight on your new album? Um, Side projects? I mean, there's like everyone in the band that kind of works on music on their own, but I mean, there's not really any side projects. No, we're so busy yeah. that it's, it's the band itself. It's but uh, we can't really. It's too soon to talk about the album. <laughs> yeah, those we know. We know we're probably going to be looking for like July release dates. But other than that, like just touring constantly here, you know, hopefully overseas again. So just touring, touring the hell out of this album. If it does well, you yeah. never know. <laughs> I think it'll be. <laughs> 
I do appreciate you guys taking oh, thank the time you. out. Thank Definitely you. a pleasure. Sorry we're not better at this. <laughs> we're better <laughs> oh, <no>. looking. <laughs> you guys are fine. Face down out.